What is up everybody? My name is Kara and I'm going to be doing a review on a clothing company called Lemon and Ash Apparel. They were having a really good online sale so I got quite a bit of a haul and I wanted to go over some of the items I picked up, what they look like when they're on. Uh, first and foremost, it is called Lemon and Ash Apparel. It was founded September 2021. It's a home-based shop, uh, which also has online shopping availability. Uh, if you do want to go shop in person, if you're in the Las Vegas area, it is a pop-up converted garage, um, which is a, a pretty good storefront. Uh, it's definitely some place that you can try on the clothes. Uh, you could definitely shop, take your time. Sabrina, the owner of the company, will be there to help assist you in any way. Uh, give you recommendations of sizing. I know that she is always available to answer questions online as well. So if that's something that uh, is maybe making you hesitant of online shopping, I know she is really, really knowledgeable, really good at helping you guys pick out the sizes that you need. Um, full disclosure, she is my sister, but I purchase everything with my own money. I'm not sponsored. I am going to give a honest review on what I think of these clothing items. Uh, to start, she does pride herself in having affordability, uh, good style, and comfort. I also like the clothing brand because it is a good range of uh, body body size. Uh, they have quite extensive from extra small to extra large and everything in between. So that's something I really like about the brand as well. If you're ever re looking to reach out, I will try and link the uh, stuff in the description, but it's Lemon and Ash at gmail, lemonandashapparel.com if you want to do online shopping. Her Instagram is Lemon and Ash Apparel and Facebook is Lemon and Ash Apparel as well. So hop on over and follow those uh, sites if you like these clothing brands. Uh, to start with, it is a multi-brand retail uh, company. So they do have multiple different brands under one name of the apparel shop. So she's bringing in um, other items. These aren't Lemon and Ash apparel uh, branded clothing, but she is pulling clothing uh, from other companies that she has vetted, that she has tried, um, and that she does like the quality. Um, I am currently wearing some of her jeans because she has been around since September 2021, so I bought quite a bit of fall um, and winter items. These are some of the first summer items that I have bought. Um, also, uh, just to give you reference, I am 5'10", 180 pounds, and so my size can kind of range. On typical clothing brands, uh, jean size, I'm typically a 31, uh, if that helps anybody at all. Okay, so to start, uh, first of all, her packaging is adorable. This is what it came in, uh, very on brand for Lemon and Ash. I actually really like this. Shipping was quick, but I'm also in the Las Vegas Valley, so um, I'm not sure if it's shipping cross country, what that time frame is gonna be, but I believe I got this in like two days after I ordered it. So it was, it was quick shipping. Again, I'm in the Las Vegas Valley. That's where the store is based. So um, just reference for that. Very cute. If you see this in the mail, you know it's your Lemon and Ash apparel. Um, she also had everything wrapped in tissue paper, her stickers, really, really nice. Um, I also really liked that she put in this necklace for me. I haven't even opened it yet. And it's, it felt really personal because it goes with the color scheme of a lot of the stuff that I ordered. Like she... I didn't order this necklace, it was a gift, and I, I really liked that she took the time to um, see what I ordered, and she paired this with it. So it was really, really nice. Just a little thank you, because I did, I got quite a bit of a haul. Um, so I will definitely be putting this on later. It's kind of like a shell bead almost, um, if, if that helps. And then it's adjustable clasp, so it can be a choker as tight or loose as I mean the allowance will will give you for the the size okay so starting off uh this racerback crop top I did order through through this haul 
Um, I also ordered uh, two others that were the same. So it comes with her Lemon and Ash tag. Um, this is the brand, I don't know how to pronounce this, so I'm I'm worried that I'm gonna butcher it, but um, Zanaya. Uh, this is size large, made in Cambodia. And let me see what the, it is a uh, blend. So 60% cotton, 35% polyas polyester, and 5% spandex. So it has a good amount of stretch um, to it. Uh, this is also a size large. Uh, it's exactly how I wanted it to fit uh, when I was envisioning buying this. So um, this is like a nice blue. I feel like I really like blues because it kind of brings out my eyes, but uh, this orange is really bright and summery and cute as well. So I'm definitely looking forward to wearing that. I also got it in pink. So again, it has her tag. It is a size large, uh, same blend of material. So it is the, which I already, I just told you guys, 60% uh, cotton, 35% polyester, and 5% spandex. It's got the racer back to it, which I like. Um, I have a tattoo on my shoulder that I like to show off, so I typically go for the racer back uh, type of uh, shirts. And I will definitely be trying these on later. So I also got, I know they had the racer back, they also had a crop tee, um, which is the same, same brand, same size. I haven't tried this on yet. I have been wearing this one because, I mean, I couldn't help but wear it before I did this video. Um, but let me see what this is, if it is the same blend. Uh, okay, this is a different blend. It is 95% cotton and 5% spandex. So um, I don't know. I feel like Sabrina would have a better idea of if these are going to shrink at all. Um, I've already washed this. It was fine. It, it didn't shrink, but it's a different blend than this crop tee. Um, and I will try that on as well. I also got the same crop tee, same brand, same size in this teal blue. I thought it was really pretty online, so I'm excited to try that on and see what that looks like. Um, and I also found these. <laughs> so my husband was like, are you going to the 80s? Uh, but I was really excited. These are a pant, um, kind of like a, um, like a skinny pant. And let me see. Oh, same brand. Now I did get an XL because I am a little heavier down on, on the second half of my body. Um, I've got some curves, so I got an XL. Um, I'm excited to see how these are going to fit. Uh, this was made in Vietnam. And it is, oh, it says here hand wash uh, with light colors. Uh, do not bleach, hang dry. Let me see if I can find the, oh, I don't know what it's made of. Um, it kind of has like, like a, like a tracksuit kind of um, feel to it. Uh, I don't know if you can hear it, if that even helps. It doesn't really say what it's made of. Oh wait, I'm sorry. It's 100% nylon. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a dork. Uh, it's 100% nylon. Um, and so yeah, this one is gonna have to be hand washed and uh, hung dry. And I will be putting these on. I got these because I thought they would look really cute with the crop top. I think I'm gonna pair it with a brighter color and I'm definitely gonna be putting that necklace on to see what it looks like. Now, I also got these high waist, here, let me, let me actually tie it. It's funny, because I normally shop in store, and I feel like Sabrina's doll, because she's just dressing me up, so I feel like a little lost without her telling me what shirt would pair well with this, but I pulled a couple other things that I'm gonna try. But I got these high waist, uh, kind of like a pleather short, um, 
it's typically pretty warm here in Las Vegas so I'm actually looking forward to wearing these in like the fall and I think I'm going to put like a um, kind of uh, patterned tight or something with them and then some boots so I'm gonna probably do that and I also paired a bodysuit that I had I'll let you know where that's from um, and some other stuff just to play with what this is gonna what this is gonna look good with okay uh, so give me a sec I'm going to readjust everything and I'm gonna try some of this on and see how it looks Sorry for the quick interruption. I wanted to hop on and correct my size reference that I gave at the beginning of the video. I said extra small to extra large. The range is actually much larger than that. In tops, uh, Lemon and Ash has extra small up to 3x and in pants and jeans, the size range is from 3 to 24 wide. So I just wanted to pop in and correct that really quickly. Enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, everybody, real quickly, I just wanted to show you what I already have on. I did throw the necklace on, so it does match with this really well. Um, I'm wearing some jeans that I did get through Lemon and Nash. They're Judy Blues, size 11, I believe. Um, and they're pretty cute. They've got these like distressed look and this is how I've been wearing this crop top lately, is just with a pair of jeans going out, um, running my errands, and what have you. So I just wanted to show you this really quickly, and then I'm gonna put on the other stuff. Here is the top in orange. Here are the pants. It is very loud, but again, the necklace she picked out, it's perfect. Um, <laughs> I think I'll be drawing a lot of attention with these. I do have some nude, some nude colored underwear. I feel like these are a little bit see-through, so you might want to get something that is the color of your skin, so you're not letting everybody know what uh, what color underwear you have. But otherwise, I think they're cute not a lot of stretch to them but i think that that's just the material i'm definitely glad i went with an xl um i am 510 so i have i have quite a bit of room still here it is with the black tee um it's comfortable definitely a lot of stretch i like it i think i might try this tee with some other jeans that I have gotten from Sabrina. She sells both the Judy Blues and the Can Cans, which I really like those jeans because they have a bit of um, give to them. I typically find that things will uh, fit in the um, butt area but be loose in the waist. So I really like the jeans that she has fit, has picked because they have a little bit of stretch to where they're gonna fit me a little bit better. So um, I'll try the teal on with these pants. I think this is gonna be cute. Okay, yes, this is definitely nice and loud and out there as well. I like it. I find that um, I'll go to a lot of like themed parties and we've done 80s quite a bit. So this is like gonna be my go-to uh, sort of outfit. But also, I just really like the style of this. I think that it's going to look really cute just going out and about. And uh, I like to go downtown uh, to Fremont Street. Um, I like to do things where I can kind of get away with wearing something uh, bright like this here in Las Vegas. Uh, nobody's gonna blink twice. So I really like the outfit. I think it's cute. Um, the pants, again, they don't have a lot of stretch, but they do fit, I would say, to probably size up if you're looking. Um, but yeah, I, I like this outfit. I think it's, it's very cute. So these are the shorts. Um, I forgot to tell you, it is a polyester shell and uh, coating polyurethane. And so these are the high waist. I thought I'd give it a try with the crop top. I also have a 
um, one piece that I want to try this with and see what that's going to look like. And then I grabbed my boots that I'm probably going to wear with it and um, I'll probably do a look that I'm that I'm more more than likely gonna wear with these uh, these shorts are nice they have a really long inseam so um, definitely not short let's see <laughs> fingertip length if I'm going all the way back to my school days um, but yeah it's got a cute bow here that you can tie and yeah this is this is a cute a cute short I like it All right, so this is the look I was going for. I am wearing a red bodysuit from Express. I've had it for a while. Um, sorry, I felt like I had to change my lipstick. <laughs> if I look different, that's that's all I did. Um, this is with the short. I've got some tights. They're Worthington tights, so they're like a pattern. And then I've got my boots. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Anyway. Uh, this is definitely very cute. I love the shorts. They've got pack pockets, they're comfortable. Uh, the inseam is good for the length. So I could definitely uh, see myself wearing this to a Golden Knights game, uh, that's for sure. And also I think this is gonna be like a cute fall short. Anyway, I could get like a sweater and tuck it up under my bra so it's kind of like a crop top. And yeah, very cute pants. This is my uh, last shirt, light pink. Uh, these are my can-can jeans with the button button fly. Really cute high waist jeans. And it definitely looks good with the crop top racer back. Um, I guess I didn't really show you guys the back of this. <coughs> oh, sorry, that's my dog. Um, but yeah, looks really good. I like it. Very comfortable, uh, really good for a summer summer look, I feel like. I think you could also probably get away with wearing this in the fall, kind of tying a flannel around your waist. It would look super cute. Okay, I almost forgot I was going to show you guys uh, the black crop with some jeans. These are the Judy Blues uh, High Waist Button Fly. They're distressed. Very cute. I really like these jeans. Um, honestly, all of the jeans I've gotten are, are great from Lemon and Ash. And yeah, I almost forgot to show you guys, but this is cute. I, I feel like this is an everyday look that I'm definitely going to be wearing. All right, so final thoughts on everything that I got from my Lemon and Ash haul. Overall, I would say pretty good. I do like the shirts that I got, the racer back crop top and the tee crop tops. I'm a big fan of those. I definitely will be incorporating those into my wardrobe frequently. Um, the, the pant, the neon pant, uh, very fun. I do like it. I don't know that it'll be an everyday look for me, but I certainly do have places that I am looking forward to wearing that um, down to. It is, it, they are neon. I mean, they're bright. So if that isn't your thing, maybe not the best pant for you, but I really like them. I think that they're fun. I think that I will definitely be able to incorporate those into a look that I'm going for. The uh, pleather pant, or the short rather, I really like that short. I'm looking forward to wearing that fall time, like I had mentioned before. I feel like pleather fabric can sometimes uh, hold in heat more so, and it's very hot here in Vegas, so I'm probably not going to be wearing those pleather shorts during the summer months. Um, but definitely during the fall, even more so into the winter, because I could put like a legging under it to give it some sort of pop with a boot, and like I said, a sweater tucking it up under my bra. I think that would look really cute. So I am looking forward to wearing those. However, it'll probably be later on uh, when it's cooler, because it's like 110 here uh, Vegas summers. It's pretty hot. Um, 
otherwise i hope you guys got a good sample of the jeans i already wear as well uh, let me know if you want to see anything else i do have some winter wear sweaters and what have you from lemon and ash but otherwise this is my first video please be gracious i'm sure i could improve on a lot and i hope that this review helped you